Dude, I, I got to tell you, the Democrats were creating a surf class. They sure were on purpose. People who can't vote, people who struggle to to get access to the system, but who are also not citizens. And they were going to have them do low skill labor. So you have a working class that can't vote and affect your system. And they were but even saying this. They get blatantly. congressional seats by it. Right. So what the Democrats have then is a congressional seat will be created with 600,000 American citizens and then 175,000 illegal immigrants. Mm -hmm. That gives the Democrat a position where that 175K cannot vote. So they get free political power. Yeah. That's yeah. insane. No, it's it's ridiculous. America needs to be removed immediately. It's absolutely ridiculous. Because because the thing is, with the Secretary of Homeland Security, they are the ultimate immigration official because they are over all the law enforcement agencies and all the agencies that oversee immigration into the country, right, outside of non-immigrant visas, which is the Secre uh, State Department. That's a whole other thing. But it, this has been an, uh, an, a, a huge failure for from a border security standpoint. And America needs to be removed. You need to put people in that are more aggressive. There was a Texas judge recently who said that a plan that the Biden-Harris administration put into place to mm -hmm. essentially grant um, legal status to the spouses and stepchildren uh, who are illegal, but they're connected to Americans, mm -hmm. they wiped that out and said you can't just automatically give these people status just because they are here. And I thought I that was kind of great. Yeah. I love this uh, this, um, this this headline from the Daily well Beast, somehow, though. We're, we're not going to read the story because it, it's locked. But Trump borders are to undocumented immigrants. We are coming for you. That's the, <laughs> I mean, there's literally uh, Holman, uh -huh. Holman there's said that. Literally a mandate. I know, but like, that. yeah, the the United the American You're people, here illegally. What do you what? The <laughs> American people. It's it. something like seventy percent, seventy five percent of the American people number. have said we believe that or we want to see deportations. Yeah. Not like oh, we just want to you know control the border straight up. We're comfortable with the things that are going to happen when you start deporting people. Well, if 70% of the American people believe that, it doesn't matter how uncomfortable the talking heads on the internet or the talking heads on, on TV are with it. That's what the American people want. That's part of why Donald Trump was elected. And I'll say this too. So immigration, it's kind of a catch-22, right? If you enforce it, People look at you as a family wrecker, evil, etc. But if you don't do it, obviously, you look at you're not doing your job. And it's kind of like a political hot potato. And I could say this because I've worked under both Obama, Trump, and Biden, uh, three different presidents. And what I will tell you is when there's a Democrat in office, ICE and Force and Removal Operations, who is responsible for the domestic location and apprehension of illegal aliens that are in the country— they are significantly neutered when there's a Democrat in office. Everyone knows this, right, that's on the job, that they're not going to go out and pick up aliens like they normally do. Unless it's like a, a violent criminal alien, they're typically not going to do their job like they're supposed to. They're just hanging around when the Democrat's in. So, But when Trump came in, everyone's getting deported. They were going out. They were doing raids. ICE was actually doing their job on the ERO side. So um, it's a very um, – it's, a, it's, a, it's an agency that's contingent upon who's in office. Yeah, there, there Unfortunately. was one of, one of the big stories that we had seen during the Trump administration was that there are a bunch of meat processing plants. Mm -hmm. They raided. They they arrested, I think, 800 individuals. And then I, I this is what I love to hate about the corporate press. The corporate press shows up to a job fair after the fact and they see Americans, white Americans, and, and were aghast. There was like a white guy walking up to the job fair and they were like, sir, what, what are you doing? And he's like, I'm here for a job. And they were like. Why would you want to work this low-skilled job? These are jobs Americans hate. And he goes, it pays more than the gas station. <laughs> like, these are jobs Americans wanted. Yeah. And they were giving them to non-citizens. I, th I find that to be really shocking as well. And this is something you repeatedly hear from Democrats, is that Americans don't want to take these jobs. I have not met an American who's like, oh, there's a job or I could suck money off the government. I think I'll just suck money off the government. Like, that's not an American ethos. It's not what any of us are, are raised to really think. You know, we're raised to say, like, we want to take care of ourselves. We want to provide for our families. We don't want to be a burden to the government. And we certainly don't want the government to be that closely involved in our lives. And these are jobs that Americans Americans are perfectly happy to take. Chuck Schumer thinks that Americans don't want jobs. And I think that's totally bogus. And I'm really stoked to see, you know, Trump call that out repeatedly. It's it's to the it, point where he showed up and and, you know, worked the fryer. It's oh, that was great. And I, mm -hmm. and I loved Bill Burr's bit on SNL. He was getting ragged on by a lot of people. But no, what he was said when Donald Trump stood behind that counter is when he was like, you could tell he was truly happy. Mm -hmm. He was like, wow, this is where they do the French fry. It, 
I agree. Like yeah, Trump yeah. was so excited to be that. That's not a bad thing. That's that was great. Trump was really excited to make the French fries, and he was like, Trump put extra fries in, and he's like, someone's gonna be really happy when they. Yes, that's all true. <laughs> Trump yes. was super excited to yes. give people food. Yeah, I thought that was amazing. And I I do want to say because you mentioned work sign enforcement, which you mentioned when they raided the thing. That's something called uh, work sign enforcement. HSI does those a lot of the times. It and happened just here like a week ago, a yeah. few days ago. So Worksite Enforcement Not under here at Tim Cast. Under Democrats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Worksite Enforcement under Democrats almost always is much harder to pull off because the thing is is that you're not gonna do a worksite enforcement case and go after the the company and the people that employ the illegal aliens unless it's like egregious whenever you have Democrats in, right? We're talking about hundreds of illegal aliens, deplorable work conditions, etc. But under Trump or whatever, hey, look, he's got this many guys employed. This is a problem, et cetera, especially in this area. Um, it was way easier to get work sign enforcement cases done. Thanks for checking out this clip from Timcast IRL. Make sure to watch the show live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. Subscribe to this channel and we will see you all there.